And yeah. um, so now we're going to go get into our hot topics. Are you ready for some hot Woo! topics? Everybody gets a hot topic! Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, the first one, there's been a big announcement uh, in the news. Uh, we have a, a, a VP announcement. Uh, Joe Biden announced his, his new VP is going to be uh, Kamala Harris. I have no doubt that I picked the right person to join me as the next vice president of the United States of America, and that's Senator Kamala Harris. What's your thoughts on that? Well, you should first ask me what's my thought on Joe Biden being president. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> still trying to get past that one, Don. I just... If he can't figure out the difference between an elephant and a lion, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. That's what real leadership looks like. We just witnessed real leadership. I mean, I'm glad that... Like, that... that I, I think that that person probably will be running the country instead of that's that's what a lot of people think. I'm wondering if Biden will even make it to the race before they finally throw in the towel on him. Are, are you a junkie? You He's definitely of the two ill, the two evils that exist now. And I, I have to just accept the what so. See, in every you, every, all of us, we have if we keep resisting the what is, we're gonna cause ourselves continued suffering. All right, so we have to accept that this is the what. So when Trump got into office, I had to accept the what. So of that, and so from that space, accepting that this is what can, what new possibility can I create in my own world and in the world of those who I deal with every day. So what, what, what can come out of this that's positive? And one of the things to me that's so important for all of us as Americans is we have to be responsible for what's happening on this planet, right? Um, there, I mean, as comedians, there's this shit is not really funny. Like we can find the funny in it because that's what we're gifted to do. And overall, we have a moral responsibility to how our children, how we leave this country to our children. It's disgusting. This campaign is disgusting. The Democrats are disgusting. The Republicans are disgusting. Anyway, I am, uh, I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental, my physical as well as my mental fitness. I think a lot of the reasons why we, we get stuck with, um, you know, um, crap and poop, so to speak, is, is because- the way, proctology. <laughs> because the way the system works. So good people who may have made mistakes in their past or, or you know, maybe, uh, you know, whatever their controversy was throughout their life, they're afraid to run now because they know that their family and, and um, their past is all gonna be, all the dirty laundry is gonna come out. And this could be the guy or the woman with all the answers, but afraid to run because they're, they're put that up. That sounds like me and you, Don. <laughs> <laughs> exactly I don't right. want that to come out. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like all of those types of things come out, and 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 um, and, and could potentially good good people, uh, talented politicians, or people with all the answers won't come. Who wants that job? Who wants to be president? Uh, you know, it, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't. I, I probably shouldn't say. It's you, you're never going to make everybody happy. You're you're always ridiculed. Every mistake you make uh, is fodder for the Twitterverse. Uh, or could cancel you, so to speak. So it's a it's a it's a tough job to want, let alone. But here's have it. the thing: the president doesn't run the country; uh, the house does. So right. fuck it, we people who the good we should all be in the house. I mean, we because that's who really is running shit. Right. And keeps making all these decisions right trump has been the only president to go no it's not gonna go it's gonna go my way why because i'm the president and i what i say goes i'm the leader of the free world I, 
when I say go, when I say goes, because I'm the leader of the free world. It doesn't matter if no one ever done this and if it's against the rules, I'm just veto. Because I have veto power. <laughs> I mean, that's what he does. I'm the president. I like. Who? I do like your impression of Trump, though. It was very nice. Isn't that cool as a black woman that I? <laughs> it was great. Say? And I, I want you to know, you couldn't see me from the bottom down, but I had tucked my balls. I sucked <laughs> and I sucked everything <laughs> in, indicating there's nothing going on with Trump down wow, there. Wow, so nice. The whole impersonation. I sucked everything in. I farted when I did it, and um, I, it was a whole Trump uh, impersonation. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. I wish the camera could have gone down there. Would have RuPaul would have been proud of me. I'm I would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> but now we'll, we'll move on to the next one here. The next hot topic is Ellen DeGeneres is now uh, being canceled. Uh, oh. The cancel culture got her. Uh, the show looks like it's actually going to going away. Can uh, you believe this, Doug? Yeah. What? She's Ellen? like. Yeah. Like, the, the woman who could teach our elementary school kid, I, got, I mean, I love Ellen. I think you're ready for the next move. I still love Ellen. I was shocked, I, and not like crazy shocked, but just like, um... I don't know what to say. Like, what happens on this planet? Like, who people really are doesn't shock me. What was a little unnerving, I said, I, for me, I was like, okay, I got to do all the research before I start hating on Ellen. And I'm still not hating on her because look, right. we all have our demons. I, when you are in the public, bitch, you got to you gotta be squeaky clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then if, if people are getting on your nerves, just be like, God damn it, y'all getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> like I am bleeding today i am a woman or maybe she stopped bleeding maybe that's why she she doesn't yeah. have her i think she needed a good uh proctology exam Procto yeah <laughs> that's what i think maybe. Yeah. i am so sad and i am so angry and i know i'm not going to say the right thing the show is going away and um you know all of these stories of like ellen being really mean I just, I don't think people should hide that part of themselves though. Cause when it comes out, everybody like, ah. Right, when, some, so when people think like, you're super I'm nice, not. yeah. Yeah, I mean, cause we, look, we all have good, bad, ugliness. And if you built your whole platform off of, you know, I miss this Butterworth and I'm funny and I'm gay and I fight for everybody's rights. I love you, Barney. You love me. <laughs> We're a great big family. Bitch, I'll shoot you if you come in my house again. <laughs> this is what, that's what's happening now. I'm just so sorry that it's come to this. You got a lot of money, so go on and do you, boo. I'm mad at her. Uh, awesome. Uh, the, the next one now is there's been a new Cardi B song. I don't know if you've seen this one. It's kind of making the rounds. It's it's got a lot of little bit of controversy. It's it's called uh, W A P, uh, WAP, but it's it's it, it's an acronym. It means something that I I don't want to say. I'll say it's W A P. The W white ass people. <laughs> <laughs> That would be, I would, that would be, I'm fine with both, both of the words. I like that song. You should actually do the recording of White Ass People. Right, right, uh, right. And I could be your dancer. Yes, you owe me a dance I, I, I dance, you know, as, you know, as white as they, they can be. And, and, and uh, it's not, and, and not by so choice, you, believe you, me. White man's overbite. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so you guys, but, okay, but what is the song? Like, what is so it? So it's a new song uh, that Cardi B just put out where she's, Pretty much, I think the controversy is that she's kind of embracing uh, being a hoe, and um, you know, and she's saying, "Yeah, that's right, I'm a hoe." You know, like she's she's embracing, and I think a lot of people are are uh, on the fence about this. This is a good message for, for the kids and things. But okay, also, first so of all, Cardi B ain't never had a good message for the kids other than, bitch, you can make it if you try. You don't have to be down by no eye. 
you can shake your ass for a lot of cash. Like, I mean, she is, her audience are, is not children. Like, seriously, who's tripping? She she was a stripper before she met. <laughs> exactly. People need to, what is your, what's the name of your, your show? What is the name of this show? Shut up, say it for me, say it loud. Don. Put up, shut up, and stand up. Okay, so now they need to shut up. That's because right. Because Cardi B is doing her. She is never, she's not trying to be an example for children. In fact, to me, she is a, an amazing example for kids, okay? Because, listen, they can be whatever they want to. They don't have to go to school. They don't have, they can be a high paid home. <laughs> That's a, a, a look, she did My it. My nieces and nephews keep having babies for free. I'm like, Michael Jackson said, if you can't feed the baby, yeah, yeah, then don't have the baby. <laughs> you need to sell your eggs. Why you keep having babies for free? I don't understand that. I wish people would have made this song when they were children. Uh, so I, uh, I give her all the props. Screw everybody else. Awesome. I love that that take on it. That's why I, I love uh, going over hot topics with you. Uh, the next one here is is uh, customer service. Um, is customer service dying in, in the COVID age? What What's the story with, with customer okay, service? Okay, well, first, it, it depends on what area, or I should say what culture, when you say customer service, because it's certain cultures that have never had customer service. <laughs> I, and I don't know if it's politically correct to name them, but let's keep it real. That's why I don't eat Chinese food anymore. I'm just, I'm just saying. So it's certain cultures that have never, ever had customer service. When you go to retail stores, now, so check it out. Yesterday, I need some running shoes. So I went to Nordstrom and I had like big boxes of shoes um, in my hand and I wanted to like sit down and like go through each box to try them on. And I'm looking around the store, I'm like, <laughs> Okay, there used to be benches here for people's comfort to sit down. There's not a bench. I'm I'm sitting my ass down. I just had a proctology exam, so I need something real soft to yeah. sit up there, right? And there's no seating. So I, I'm like, dude, I said to the customer, the cashier, I said, where are the seats? He said, oh, man, I'm so sorry. They took them away. I was like, why? Well, between me and you, they don't want y'all here. I was like, they don't want the customers. Yeah. So all you see on the floor are arrows, where to stand. And he said, you can sit on the carpet. I said, dude, I know I can do that, but my ass is hurting. I'm not going to do that. So I had to back that thing up into a wall. Wow. And try on like five pairs of shoes standing up. And then I go to Pretz to order some food. The line is long. There's an empty, beautiful leather sofa in Pretz, right? I sit down for two seconds. The cashier was like, uh, excuse me. She was chewing gum. Mama, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sit right there. I was like, I just sat down, baby. I know, I know, but you can't sit there. I was like, Black wow. Lives Matter? Is that gonna help me out at all now? Hashtag reparations, anything for two seconds of the Proctology seat. exam. Yeah, right. Yeah. Proctology exam. You deserve anything. to sit down on a $2. nice soft. Can I just? <laughs> yeah, so it's like stores want, they, they open, but they're not open for business. They're only open for cash. COVID has wiped out not only human beings, God rest their soul, <laughs> But it's wiped out customer service skills. I'm just there, saying. There you go. I, I, I'm with you, 110 <laughs> percent, uh, Sheila. And, and thank you, and for for being part of our hot topics for today. Yeah! Uh, Sheila, thanks uh, so much. You, you always bring it. You bring all the energy uh, and, and and a lot of wisdom. And, uh, yeah. you, you know, and, and, and you make it all funny. So I appreciate you Thank coming on our show and we this will see you again. Awesome. Don, I love you to the moon and back. Let's support this show, everybody. It is funny. It is comedy therapy. And we are so grateful to be in this space with you. Thanks, Don. Thank you, Sheila. You're awesome. I love you too. And bye -bye. take care. Peace. Hi there. This is comedian Christian Finnegan. Um, I just wanted to take a moment and say something just straight from the heart, just, you know, off the top of my head, just something I feel very passionately. Okay, here we go. Make sure you watch Put Up, 
Shut Up and Stand Up on GovsRadio.com, Facebook Live, and BoxCast every Saturday night at 7 p.m. There on the TV. Thanks for letting me get that off my chest. <laughs>